Jack is in Florida with a question. Hello, Jack. Hey, how you doing? Excellent, thank you. Got a question for Gordon. All right. Gordon, I got 400 uh, show chicken, bandit chicken. I got 27 varieties of bandits and gold and silver sea brights. And all my English, old English, are laying real good. The gold and silver sea brights are slow, so today I started them, I was told, to put on Purina game bird breeder. And that would help them lay a little bit more prolific. Is that true? Well, well that's a, a very good question. And the, the, the challenge becomes really not so much as, will that particular product do better than the game bird breeder laying it? Will that particular product do better than our uh, laying a Sunfresh recipe? It really comes down to the amount that you're going to feed those animals and their actual feed intake. So I can give you an example where the Sunfresh recipe will do a, a super job. Uh, if you have cool weather and you have uh, pretty high feed intakes. But if you have a, a young flock of birds, say, and uh, uh, it's in hot weather, then the game bird breeder laying it, because it's a little higher in protein, it's a 20% protein, right. it's a little higher fortified, may do a little bit better when you have lower feed intakes. I don't know if uh, Keith or Kurt that you'd like to, to comment on um, you know, one particular product over another and, and helping birds lay or, or, or not. Well, I think it's also important to keep in mind the genetic background of the birds as well. Uh, the Old English sounds like they are, they're doing well. The Seabright, uh, that particular strain of, of bird, just may not have the propensity to lay uh, for a longer Definitely. period of time is, is what the Old English do. So it could be uh, simply the strain of the, of the Seabrights themselves and really have nothing to do uh, uh, with, the, with the type of feed in terms of getting them to lay for a longer period of time.